there. We, we talked to event organizers yesterday. They said we really are just playing this ear by ear playing it by ear. Of course, we've been seeing the rain pouring down here at the Spark St. Louis Ballpark Village Bureau for a while now. We're, we're stuck inside. The good news is they say if everything goes as planned, they're still hoping to get out there and enjoy the day. We've got a huge day ahead of us, of course, all kicking off with our big parade. And, well, joining event organizers, we're going to have added boots on the ground. From St. Louis City Police to St. Louis Firefighters, they have got a plan in place. But first, let's run you through the, the rundown of what's going on today because it is quite a lot. So, of course, the 501C charitable organization always striving to engage, serve, and celebrate our region, of course, with this long standing tradition of celebrate St. Louis. So, after the parade, which will roll out right around 9 40 a.m., fairgoers can continue the celebrations, of course, through that 12 hour window. Um, again, it'll go until 10 p.m. tonight. Now, even from Tim Mears, the general chairman, we're hearing Celebrate St. Louis is encompassing everything in one day this year. So despite the rain, let's keep the spirits high. Let's get out there and enjoy all that's still to come. Of course, festivities kicking off at 10 a.m. with the America's Birthday Parade featuring about 140 St. Louis-made floats, marching bands, from around the state and other groups walking in the parade. We know Mayor Jones will also be out there rolling out for America's 248th birthday. With plenty of vendors, we'll also have stretches uh, of Lenore K. Sullivan filled. Now joining them down the strip, we'll also have wonderful Fox Performing Arts Charitable Foundation featuring some teen talent. Sharing in on more local spotlight with St. Louis, let's also not forget, it's Eads birthday, Eads Bridge birthday. So uh, it's their 150th. They're sharing that with America today. The birthday bash will kick off around 1.35 p.m. before the amazing air show rings in at 2. Now after that, the next five hours of the afternoon will be filled with some pretty big name performances, that including big name band Feel and Lupe Fiasco. Touching back to our senses, we'll also have a salute to troops taking place. Then, of course, we cannot forget about our fireworks show. Uh, of course, filling downtown skylines with lots of lights. It's a huge deal bringing in our community and even visitors in the whole idea of the long-standing tradition. This year, of course, is putting it all in one day, so we're really hoping that rain holds out. Now, of course, joining in on the fun, we will have added boots on the ground. St. Louis City Police and Fire will have extra officers, extra enforcement out there patrolling uh, Again, all of the events today, we know, especially after last weekend, all the pride celebrations, we had some crime and of protests. But take a listen to what Chief Tracy is saying will happen today. We do have plainclothes officers that can view things that are not in uniform to make sure if any suspic suspicious activity happens, not just protesters, but other things that we've seen at other events to make sure that we address accordingly. Now, of course, if you can't make the 12-hour tribute and talented performances, don't forget our sister station, St. Louis 11, is giving you an exclusive bird's-eye coverage from the skies. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox will be up in the air to accommodate the light show right at 9.40 p.m. We'll also be streaming that live from fox2now.com. Now, again, for a full breakdown of all the prep that's went into today, again, more information from what Chief Tracy and Chief Jankerson are saying, you can visit our website or Visit uh, Celebrate St. Louis. They've got a great map and a schedule you can look at, again, ahead of all the big events still to come later today. But don't go anywhere. We'll hear from Chief Jankerson in the next half hour. For now, we're joining you from the Spark St. Louis Ballpark Village Bureau. I'm Calista Matrician.